There's another city, there's another town, which you'll see something from us coming up on this soon. There's another town called Blackpool in the north of England. Now, the police identified one, one Muslim takeaway that was actually grooming... 70 young children were groomed through this takeaway. One young girl... No, two young girls have never been found from this. Yeah, never been found. Never found. One of the girls... I mean, we're talking about one, girls never found. I mean, wow. One of the girls... Uh, it, 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 in, in tape recordings, the Muslim men admitted that they chopped her up into the kebab mincing machine. Yeah? This... They've never been to jail. They're still running that same place. Say that again. They admitted they chopped her up? They chopped her up and fed her... They chopped her up and put her into the kebab mincing machine. And then when the girl's mum went in... This has all come out. When the girl's mum went into the kebab shop, because that's where her, her daughter used to hang around near these shops... So when she went in to ask where her daughter was, they gave her mum and dad's free free kebabs. Probably with so they daughter. chop her up. She's a she's a kafir. She's a Christian. She's an animal. They chop her up and feed her to their parents. Muslims the fed their dead daughter to her at kebab shop. You can look this up. The young girl I've met her mum and dad. The young girl's name was Charlene Downs. Now, when the Muslims got, were they were taken to court, but they got off on a technicality. And they were awarded two hundred and fifty thousand pounds compensation. So when they're taken to court, the court rules for them. It's, and then the, the point is, the police in this undercover, in, in this document that come out, the police had identified 70, seventy girls just to that one shop had been groomed. They identified up to another hundred Muslim businesses in that town that would be. Well, used. why does it England create a new business where, like, you feed British girls? into kebab machines. Can we do that? Well, we already are. And I wonder how many other places it's happening. They're, and that's what this latest court case, what, what I'm going to be in court for on Monday, I'm, only, I'm, I'm not in court for... I, well, I'm, I shouldn't even... I probably can't even talk too much about it, but I'll be able to talk about it after Monday, hopefully. But um, this is going across our country. And, the, and Muslim businesses are used as honeypots. So we know this. Well, maybe so, a new multiculturalism to prove you're not a racist Maybe you should have a daughter and feed her into a kebab machine. I hate to be, well, I mean, I'm not going to be sick, but maybe that's the new symbol of not being a bad person is you take your child, slit their throat, and then throw them into a meat grinder. How's that sound? And even these men, when they are arrested, so this, this, this case coming up in Leeds, 29 men, they're all on bail. They're not in prison. They're all walking around the streets. In fact, many of them are still working in the same takeaways that they're using to groom the young girls. So I, f I feel that the British public are being let down. Even when they're arresting these people, they're still not guaranteeing safety. Well, here's my question. Them. What in the hell are British families doing? I get they're at school, they're off buses. I see it in the news. It's all confirmed. Letting their kids get around the Islamist slavers. You, you have to, most of these girls that they target, what they do is they choose the victims. They choose, so, and it starts, so say you've got 11, 12-year-old young white English girl, then she'll be befriended by 11 and 12-year-old young Muslim boys. Then boys will then notify the elder boys, yeah, of, of which girls are, are good targets, as in which sure, girls... Sure, just like that. folks in a white van use kids to get other kids to get in the car with the candy or the puppy. It's a standard deal. Yep, standard deal. But they, they find out which girls don't have a father, which girls come from a broken home, which girls have difficulties in their, in their life. All of these things are found out. So when they go for the girl and the victim, a lot of the time, they're girls with problems. They're girls with parental problems. They're girls with home problems. Um, and they're girls that are already... So just like Sandusky and the troubled kids at, at Penn State. And by the way, this is in the news. You talked about it five, six years ago. Hundreds of rape kids, major council crises. This is, this is in the news for new viewers. This is confirmed now. Every single bit of this is confirmed. The, the, the only problem we have is they're still... Un, they're still we, we keep going to Rotherham where we can hear 1,400 girls. Rotherham is nothing compared to the other towns and cities. But we only have those figures because we had a charity who kept records from all the girls. Sure, so you have trendy liberal parents that go, here's my 10-year-old daughter with a bunch of Muslim men. Let her get on the bus with them. It's liberal to have grown men take my daughter. It's trendy. After all, they're not British. They must be good. Give my daughter to them. Well, well, most of the time, the people who are liberal don't live where this is. That's, that's the reality. Exactly. The reality they're the elites, people, the most, most, exactly. Yeah. The people saying that all these liberal views and how great Islam is, they live out in the countryside. Their children won't come into contact with these mental groups. It's ours. 
It's ours. And then the, the, the most hor horrifying thing, for example, I'll get, I, I, I watched on the news as the Rotherham case unfolded, and I saw a young girl who I knew standing outside the police station on the, doc, on the report from the, from the news reporter, and what he turned around, he said, now you've got all the far right turning up. Now, I look there, and I know that girl. Yeah? I, I've sat down with her. She's been gang raped time and time again as a child. Yeah? That's a real so person. Story. So I know her story. So here she is gang raped, and now here's some, some elitist media calling her far right because she dares to have, have a... because she dares to come out and, and speak about what's happened to her. Now, so, so they're a victim once, a victim twice, they'll be a victim again. It disgusts me. Well, the good news is, thanks to you and others, this is starting to come out. Clearly, I don't think... At least we're, we're like, rising against this. Where is it going in Europe? Where is it going in England with, as, as the world awakens to this? I, I, I don't know what what's going to be that bang, but there will be a bang. Um, and I don't think we're in control of knowing what it will be or when it will be. But at some point, people are going to rise up. They have to. They have to. It's the only inevitable outcome. No, I agree. Let me go to break, come back and do five more minutes with you. Can you do it? Yeah, of course, can you? Because they're telling me I didn't even plug stuff last hour or this hour. Because I get so caught up. I'm not, it's true. I get so caught up in this. I got three daughters that it makes me, I'm not a violent person. I just, it really gets me where I'm very upset. Please financially support us so we can expose all this. We got a lot of great products. We go out and find the big national maker of organic shampoo and sunscreen and bug spray. And we just get it discounted. 20% off store prices, 25% off when you sign up for auto ship. We fund ourselves because of you. InfoWarsStore.com, InfoWarsLife.com or triple eight two five three three one three nine, and i'm not saying i'm a great guy i actually feel dirty that other people won't do this fight i can't believe there's not other people fighting back uh but we're here we need your financial support uh we got the new z shield takes out the heavy metals and toxins from your body that's there infowarslife.com or triple eight two five three three one three nine uh, it's all there. We have, I voted for Donald Trump, not Ivanka shirt. That's there too. Whatever you do, we've got thousands of great items. Go to InfoWarsStore.com and support us today because we're the tip of the spear. I want to thank you all for your support. But if you're not supporting us, then you're aiding the enemy. We'll be back with the fourth hour to finish up with Tommy Robinson. And then we've got, uh, who's coming in the rest of the fourth hour? Roger Stone. Stay with us. If you go to any search engine and type in sex slaves Libya, sex slaves Sudan, sex slaves Syria, sex slaves, Saudi Arabia, sex. You'll see the blocks where the women go up naked and are sold. They ain't wearing hoods then because that, that's a slave. And you cover it. The media says, oh, it's not happening, even though it's in international business times, you name it. So here's the deal. In an Islamic country, if your woman or your daughter or your sister isn't wearing a hood over their head, they're fair game. And so we bring in millions of people. This is their culture. Your daughters are gone. Five years old or older, they're not wearing a hood over their head. They're going to be in some house with some Muslim raping them. And Tommy Robinson's exposing that. He's forcing it out. British papers now have to admit it's going on. That God, that's got to make them mad. Because I watched Paul Watson's video last week where Muslims are just beating people up, and others are, that try to just stand in front of 10 Downing Street saying Britain has free speech. I mean, this is the most howling, arrogant, evil group. And the government is advancing them and protecting them. So, Tommy, in general, though, it's got to at least have some satisfaction for you that the worm's turning. Things you warned about a decade ago are now being admitted to. Yeah, I sense even in the last three to six months there's, there's a huge change happening in the public. I sense that on the reaction I, I'm getting everywhere I'm going. Um, I'm getting a real... Everyone is crying out for this. Everyone is wanting to support something that's highlighting it. Um, it's, I can't take any status. When I know all the things we warned about for so many years, I think the first time I brought this up was in 2004 about the grooming of our girls. In 2004, and I think how many victims there's been since then and allowed to have been. If, and another case, I don't know, if you look at a case in, in, in the city of Oxford, they, they changed the name of the road the Muslim community did there to Manzal Way. Now, Manzal translates as mosque, but to all us stupid Kafar idiots, we don't know they've just named it Mosque Way. Now, where they've got a massive mosque, one, one young English victim was being raped repeatedly in the house directly opposite the mosque. What they did is they got, they got an iron rod. This is all now fact. It's all come out in the courts. 
They got an iron rod of the letter M and they burned it and burned it and then scolded her bum, aged 11, because she was the property of Mohammed. That is no joke. And that's what's happened. One of the other girls in the city of Oxford, when people think of Oxford, they, as I said, they think of architecture. They think of the world's best university. They think of all these things. Think again. There's another young girl. They got her tongue out on a table. And they nailed it to a table. This is real, like, it's not even just like they're raping them. They're torturing these young children. And that's what yeah. radical Orthodox Islam is, is slave ships and, and burning and marks and... <laughs> And, and, and branding and nailing. Point. I mean, that's who they are. Eating hearts, devil worshiping, cutting up victims, making them eat people, uh, selling girls into sex slavery. That's Islam. Well, when you look through Muhammad, exactly what these men are doing, exactly what these gangs are doing, the Prophet Muhammad did. So, of course, they, they see no wrong. And you can see they see no wrong in what they're doing by their reactions in court, all of them, their family's reactions, always supporting them. Their community's reactions, blaming the girls for being slags, age 12. This is an entire culture based on feeding on women. Feeding on women, and obviously, especially non-Muslim women. Non -Muslim so the feminists women. then support it because they're anti-woman, anti-family. All right, Tommy Robinson, tommyrobinson.co.uk, therebelmedia.com. Thank you so much and for your courage. Uh, next time I go over to the UK, let's go out together, you, me, and you and I and Paul Watson, I want to document this for myself, but I got to apologize. If a guy's trying to attack the car, I may actually, you don't mind, I'll give him a, I know you've done this yourself, a couple swings. I mean, is that okay or will I get put in prison? No, that's fine, mate. That's fine. We'll, we'll go out. I look forward to coming over, Alex. <laughs> well, I run my mouth. We'll see how I tough I am. A couple of these Muslims and their little, you know, Puma outfits, I may have to like, beat the little bit of a, I mean, it will be okay if I kind of give him a couple swings. You can give him a couple of swings. <laughs> All right, you're awesome. <laughs> Tommy Robinson, all right, Roger Stone coming up straight ahead. Good God, it makes me sick, but thank God he's there opposing it. In ancient times, man roamed the earth in a constant state of hunting or being hunted. Introducing Caveman, where cutting edge science meets ancient super nutrients. Secure your bottle right now at InfoWarsStore.com.